This uh, little painting knife, you hardly ever think of using a painting knife in watercolor. But a friend of mine many years ago showed me this, and his name's Charles Sharp. And I've enjoyed using a painting knife ever since then. Don't use it that often, but it is really neat. This particular painting knife is number 808 of Kason, C-H-E-S-O-N. And it has a sharp point. And what you do is come over to your color, your palette, and you pick up that paint just like that and then you take it hold it like this and then you turn down here and you start right here look at that look at that those fine fine little limbs coming out that you certainly cannot get with a rigger even because it would only take one hair of the rigger to do that very fine point so it's a great way to add really detail detail to it can you see it coming in there i hope you can we're just going to go again right there and i have that little blot right there so i'll come out from that with my little thing and then we'll blot that one little place right there and get that out of there same way down here and one more way to use it and that's to pick up some of that color on it make sure you don't have too much on it and hold it like this and hold that back and flip it and I don't know if you can see it or not, but what that gives you is, oh, look at that, really fine little spatter in there. My goodness. I don't know. I think I get carried away with texture sometimes. But to have the real fine texture and some coarse texture that we did earlier in the spattering session is just really fun. So a little painting knife is really nice. Also, while the painting is wet, you can come in with it and scrape out some of those little things like you would with a razor blade. Again, it's just another way to put texture into your painting. Happy art.